In here, I have the best cake of 2022. Oh, so the bakery I went to claimed it's a bakery called Anderson Bakery, which apparently is a Danish Japanese fusion. Who knows how the fuck that happened, but nevertheless, that is the case. Immediately, you know, I, when I went into the bakery, I, I was looking at the display of cakes and I saw a bunch of different ones. And one of them was called Cake of the Year 2022, first place. Now, to the average citizen, this might seem a little strange. Average citizen includes myself, of course, since we're what? two and a half months into into the year and and somehow we already have the best cake so so either this cake is is so good no other cake could possibly beat it whatsoever i hope this is the case of course because or it's all a big scare. How do you see logically, at least if you ask me, you would have you would have a, a, a competition by the end of the year so that if you like creating cakes and such, you'd have the year to prepare, you know, the year in which you're being judged, you would have that to prepare for it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Why would that be the case? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This really does not make any sense. What I will say is that Anderson Bakery, their, their box here looks very, very neat. And I'm, I'm certainly not used to seeing anything like that around here. Let me try and open it for you and, and give you a better view of the cake inside. Now, on their website, let me just try and hold it up here. Great. Okay, we got enough of that. Yeah, we got enough of that. On their website, they say that they are a Japanese and Danish fusion. They, they fuse traditional Danish pastries and cakes with, with just a hint of Japanese, whatever the fuck. I've got to be honest. I've lived in Denmark my entire life. I've never seen anything that looks like whatever the fuck this is. Don't get me wrong, it looks good, but I, I haven't seen anything Danish and, you know, traditionally Danish that resembles this. Now, your next question is probably, well, what, you know, what, what's in it? And I'm, I'm glad you asked, because now we're on the same page. I was... This is a bakery that, that tells you what, what's in their cakes, you know, just by the display. They actually have all the ingredients, which, beautiful, you know, massive respect to them. Can I remember what the fuck they wrote on this one? No. All I saw was best cake of 2022, and I thought, okay, bitch, prove it. An extremely expensive cake. You might look in it, look at it and think, dee dee dee, coochie coochie, little bit of cake. No, 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 no. Not, not Gucci Gucci. This is an expensive son of a bitch. Not sure how much, maybe seven and a half dollars, eight dollars. I'm, I'm guesstimating here. I'll, I'll, you know, actually convert the currencies later on. What do we have here? I don't know, some kind of chocolate chocolate rose petal these aren't rose petals they look like leaves because obviously when you're in the spring you think of brown leaves and there it's been sort of snow coated with some kind of powder and there is cream going across with with something in it that resembling vanilla or, or tiny bits of chocolate now, as I always do, I like to 
smell it. There's a clear smell of, of white chocolate here. Or at least what I I think is white chocolate. Ah, yeah, so clear smell of white chocolate. White chocolate, nowhere to be found. The, the bottom, the, the sort of the biscuit, is supposedly made from almonds or nuts. And as far as I understood, there was some kind of mascarpone uh, custard in the middle. I'm ecstatic, I th think is the right word. I'm very, very excited to dig into this. When I pay this much, I expect it to be good. And honestly, I'm not sure if I should cut it or what I should do. I have it on a huge fucking cutting board here. Mm, I have a fork, I have a backup knife. Give me a second, I'll pry something out of this. I sort of want it to be visible as I at least attempt it. Oh, it went straight through. Okay, it's not... It wasn't, you know, a, a, well, it's just cream on top and on the inside is, whoa, okay, what the fuck is going on here? Damn, don't go rogue on me. I need some biscuit as well. Okay, let's fucking analyze this shit. My face is in focus. Nobody wants that. Mm, okay, there's a clear crisp outer layer of what I think is white chocolate. Let me get through this quick. There's some kind of, of puffy custard with a bit of powder on top. I just think that's powdered sugar. And in the middle, we have some sort of gel-like substance. Kiwi, perhaps? The fuck do I know? Let me get one of these petals on as well. Uh, let's just fucking, let's dig in. Well, that's just the perfect bite, isn't it? Jesus. I was hoping it was going to be good. I have not been let down. Damn. That is a, a mixture of very delicate flavors that blend together so very well. There's a creaminess there and, you know, let's fuck the flavours to the side just for now. There's a creaminess there. There's a smoothness and there's a crunchiness. And they just combine as though they were, I don't know, different objects that combine well. <laughs> Flavor wise, I think I'll I'll have another I'll have another bite. I didn't get too much of the biscuit. I'm sorry about that fork sound that went into my central nervous system and almost broke down my my functionality. I'll I'll try to get some more on my fork. Um, all right. Big fucking bite here. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. This. This. Is what I have been fucking waiting for. The last couple of times, all I've had is, is meh stuff. Things that have been bland and uninteresting and, and at best, all right and acceptable. This has what the fuck you want in a cake. Mm, the flavors, how they combine. You, you have the acidity of, of what I assume to be the kiwi. You have the, the, the chocolate, the, the white chocolate that goes around with, with bits of nuts in there that, that add mm, sort of ah, that nutty burnt, burnt nut crunch. You, you have the biscuit on the bottom. Mm, you have the, look, on top you have uh, the sort of orange, orange yellow dots. Fuck me, the camera won't focus. Whatever, I, I believe they are, they might be passion fruit, just uh, that gives that extra little kick. And then you have the chocolate on top and it's all so very delicate and bound together so well. This is a good fucking cake. This is, damn, this is good. Mm, and I'm, I'm trying to think, is this as good as, as in the first episode where I, where I tasted the, the cheesecake from Hot Bakery. And I get that these two are very different cakes. They're not supposed to taste the same. Obviously they're not. And, and the, this cream on top, I don't think, if the camera would focus, you know, my, it would be so much easier. Thank you, thank you. I think this is sort of Stracciatella-like, while this is sort of um, vanilla custard-like, if I were to guess. Oh, I, I, need to, I need to rate it, and we are above a nine, yeah, without a doubt. I'm going to take another bite, and then I'm going to assess and, and give it a rating. So hang the fuck on here. This is wicked, and I'm struggling to think of ways you could improve it. Is this the ultimate best cake ever? Perhaps not. Perhaps you can, you can attain a higher level, but until I taste that, I... I you know, I don't know. Something of this caliber is, is really fucking good. And I, I'm i feeling a, a 9.5, a 9.6 here. You know, somewhere in that region. Because fuck me, this kind of... This kind of blows me away in a, in a sense. Go, go eat it. You know, best, best cake of, of 2022. 
Oh, if they made a better one by October, too fucking bad. You already have the best one. You can't win in 2022 anymore. You can't win in 2023 because it would have been created in, in 2022 and, you know, just too bad. Get fucked. 9.6. 9.6. Damn. Beautiful. <clears throat> See you next time. I've been sitting here for, for about 10 minutes after having, having finished eating it. And I'm still completely taken aback by the flavour of that. That was beautiful. Truly, and I might even say 9.7. Let's not fuck around in the realm above that because we're now we're talking divine stuff. But holy hell, that was absolutely gorgeous. Anderson Bakery in Copenhagen, go there, get there. Get the cake of the year. If you're there in 2023, get fucked. <laughs> okay. See you for real this time, yeah?